Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Friday. Is it, though? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a good morning. I mean, we're both very, very, very sore. Even my voice is sore. I don't know if you can tell. It's difficult to talk. Uh, it's also, we are not quite in the place that we thought we would be. After, so we, the original plan was after we left the park last night at 11, when the park closed at 11, we actually stayed until like midnight because we had we went shopping in on Main Street for a little bit and then we had to wait for the tram and find our car. After all that, we were like, we do not want to drive the two hours back to Giselle's house. So we just came like 10 minutes away to a little inn to sleep. It was, it was really cheap. Uh, and it was just for the night, so it did really help. I I really am glad that we did it because I don't think I could have driven all the way back up uh, to the high desert tonight or last night with the way I was feeling last night. It was feeling unbelievably terrible, <laughs> like from the waist down. Um, I mean, it was a great time. Don't get me wrong. I loved, 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 loved being in Disneyland, and it was a great trip. It was so much fun, and we both really, really enjoyed it a lot. It was just really tiring by the end of it. Uh, so driving did not seem fun, and I'm really glad we didn't. So anyway, yeah. so it's now almost 11, which is we had to check out. We slept. We had a nice long rest, and I feel like that helped a lot, even though it's kind of like now we have the aftermath of the pain from yesterday is now just one giant ache all across our bodies. So anyway, we are, we are about to leave because we have to check out, and we're going to go get breakfast slash early lunch at In-N-Out because it's right down the street and because we want more In-N-Out. So. Originally also this morning we were planning on, because we're idiots, I mean, didn't we learn anything from our honeymoon? We were, yeah. <laughs> we were initially planning on going to um, the Huntington this morning with my mother because we were going to be down there, we we're going to drive together, but we would have had to leave the house at like 8.30. Yeah, so this is what we were going to have to leave Disneyland at like midnight, drive two hours hour, back. Hour and a half tops. Hour and a half back, whatever. Two hours, it would feel like two hours or like five. I don't know. It would feel really long time. By, drive the way back to Giselle's house, wake up, go to sleep, and then wake up super early again just to make it down to the Huntington with Giselle's mom and then walk around the Huntington. Which for like four hours. Wouldn't be as bad, except for it's like a bunch of hills. I it is. I mean, it's just it's just a bunch of walking. It that's, is a that's bunch of walking. That's the issue. It's also a bunch of hills, which yeah. makes it even more tiring. Yeah. And so, we don't know if we're gonna make it this trip. We're gonna try to go tomorrow, but if we don't, it won't be the end of the world. Anyway, that, that's not what's happening. But I'm really ready to go eat some food. <laughs> yeah, we're hungry. Our bodies need the energy, I think. So, we're gonna go do that. Driving back to Giselle's house and everything looks so freaking weird. It's very it's, foggy, like, there's like you can't wisps. see anything We're like there. in a cloud, there's like wisps of clouds and fog just like going everywhere all around us. I got so used to being able to see everything in California, like all around me, because it's definitely not the case in the East Coast where there's trees blocking everything everywhere. Like this is just like a white abyss right here on the side of this thing. Crazy. It's a little while later, and we are of course back at the house now. It's, it was such a fun last few days, but now it's time to have a more relaxing part of our vacation. Uh, before we go back on Sunday and but right now it's I mean this is sort of relaxing still but one of the reasons we're here is because Giselle's house this house is getting sold soon and Giselle's not gonna be here again and there's a ton of Giselle's stuff still here so we're kind of going through a lot of Giselle's old stuff there's still a bunch more boxes out there we're still going through a lot of it. We're going to be going through a lot of it for the next few hours. And we'll see where we land with it. Because there's still a lot to go through. And Giselle is uh, having a hard time deciding what to get rid of and what to keep. We only have three suitcases to bring stuff back with us. 
some of the stuff we might be able to mail later on, uh, just some boxes and stuff, but we'll see. And it is the next morning, and this is all still a thing. We still have a lot more to do. Giselle's parents aren't here. They're going to be here for a few hours. We are going to spend the morning, and it's, it's like 7.30ish right now. We're going to spend the morning going through all of this and all the rest of the boxes. There's that a lot more in the garage. There's a lot more in the garage, as <laughs> she just said. Uh, we're eating breakfast at the moment. And uh, they just, they're redoing their, the counters in their kitchen, and it's very smelly in here right now. Uh, we didn't really do much interesting last night, uh, like vloggable in general. Uh, we just did more of that, and we watched uh, Pitch Perfect, which was interesting, and I we suppose. Ate dinner, but it wasn't yes, we ate dinner. Giselle's eating her leftovers from dinner right now. We got takeout from this restaurant that was pretty good. I got fish and chips, and it was good. I liked um, it. I got potato skins, which were. Not very flavorful. Like, I took a lot of salt on them, and they're still not very flavorful. And even Christopher says that, so I'm not crazy. And then the other thing I got, which are kind of interesting, um, are... Is it deep fried, I guess? Crispy fried artichoke. Yeah, so it's an artichoke heart that's, like, breaded. And it's good. I don't know. They were good, but nothing was, like, really great. My mom felt the same way, and I don't know how my dad felt, but it was, it was all right. It was, it was an easy thing to do to go out to eat. We just got a uh, takeout, so. Yeah, so that's all we did in the time that you haven't seen. And yeah, we just, we thought we'd combine yesterday's vlog and today's vlog. We were doing more stuff today. So we'll see how we really need to finish this today, but there's still so much left to do. It's, it's gonna take a while and we're not sure how it's gonna go, so we'll see. So these are the nine full boxes of books that we are getting rid of of Giselle's. She is trying to be ruthless because we don't have a lot of means to get the stuff back and some of the stuff she's not interested in anymore and some of the stuff she'll try to find at their thrift stores and bookstores, used bookstores and stuff at a later date. But most of it is actually stuff she's not interested in anymore, but it's quite a lot. Uh, although there's still quite a lot of other stuff. This room was filled, this whole back section was filled with stuff of hers, and we've narrowed it down. These are some books that she's keeping. Uh, these two boxes right here, and that box, and that box. So these five boxes, and I think there's a sixth one under there. So six boxes were the books to keep. She got rid of nine, and there's another half box uh, in this room that uh, are getting we're getting rid of also that still needs to be filled up with more books possibly and more keep boxes as well like that one and some more over there but this room still looks like this which is it's quite a lot left but we've actually gone through a lot we've done a lot it's only it's not noon yet and then we've been doing we're doing this for a few hours so yeah I'm going through and taking some pictures of some stuff that really aren't doing me any good but it's hard to get rid of stuff, and so I'm just taking pictures and passing them along, and I, I keep having to tell myself, like, this will bring someone else a lot of joy, or things like that, like, where it's like other people could otherwise, actually utilize this. Otherwise, it would just sit in a box in a closet somewhere, and no one would use it for anything. Yeah, we don't have room for things like this at our house. Yeah. Like, especially if we're not planning on having kids for several more years, at least, and things like that. Where it's like, I don't need to keep these dresses that I loved when I was a kid, even though I really loved them. Like this, I, I think this was the one that was mine. It was either mine or my sister's, but I'm pretty sure this was mine. The year I was one or two for Christmas. It might have even been Autumn's, but we each had matching dresses and my mom made this. My mom didn't make this one, but this was one of my childhood dresses as well. My mom made this one for my sister Autumn and I wore it all the time once she grew out of it. Same thing with this one. This one was made for Autumn. And I wore it all the time when she grew out of it. This one was just one that I really, really loved. It wasn't homemade, but I was so in love with this. And I'm like, maybe my sister will want it for one of her kids. But if not, someone else can take it. And then this final one, if any of you are fans of American Girl Dolls, you may recognize this dress. This is a replica of um, Felicity's dress. And my mother made this for my second oldest sister, Jasmine. 
and Autumn wore it all the time, and then I wore it all the time, and I wore it for a really, really long time, and now I don't know if Jasmine's going to want it back, but I don't need it. Maybe Hannah, her daughter, will want it, yeah. I don't know. Hannah's really tall, so I don't know if it will really fit her. Cause oh. Hannah's like, well. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see, but it's, it is really beautiful, and I have, like, a lot of memories with it, and I love how it looks because it's... It was like the colonial dress and stuff, but I don't need it. Same thing with this one. I'm a slightly too large for this one now, but this was another one that my mom made. I think this was Amber's. These are the pockets hanging out in case you're like, what is that? It's really pretty, but my arms have just gone a little too fat for it, so. Can't wear it. Gonna pass it along, even though it's really pretty. come to this place it's like several several hours later it's uh, almost 10 o'clock at night now and we haven't eaten dinner yet because we ate so much sushi uh, we are now at this place that we're not sure how to pronounce but it's a place we went to right before our wedding that Giselle used to come to all the time and really love to get something very special carne asada fries we're gonna split this between us and it is going to be <laughs> no. incredible right it's mine. we got her dad one too but yes, oh, we're we are going to eat all of this. It's gonna be delicious. It's so good. Oh my gosh, I'm, I really, really, really miss this. I think this is the last bad thing that I get to eat before we go we're back eat to. In -Out oh yeah, we're definitely okay. After In and Out tomorrow, we're for the third time. I will. I, just I will. Tomorrow morning for breakfast. Okay, fine. After tomorrow, <laughs> after In and Out, I like for lunch for the third time that we've been here. Starting on Monday, I'm eating nothing but salad and chicken breast for the next, like, year, so. Fun times. <laughs> we have basically finished. There's just a few more. There's, like, some trash and a uh, box of stuff that we might try to fit into the suitcases. The suitcases are all packed. We're going to sleep out here on the couches tonight because the bed we've been using is a little bit, a little bit uncomfortable to sleep on, so. We're just going to sleep on these couches. We're pretty tired. It's past 1 a.m. right now, I think, isn't it? It's too 2 a.m. almost awesome. I haven't been paying attention to the time, so the suitcases uh, and our uh, carry-on bags there are completely filled up with stuff, clothes and books and stuff we got at Disney, uh, to the point where we actually weren't able to fit that many books in the suitcases. In fact, it wasn't even remotely realistic that we would be able to bring home even a fraction of the books <laughs> that we have here. And Giselle got rid of so many books. Like nine, full, like I showed you earlier, nine full boxes of books. More than that, because the boxes were not overflowing. They were. They were overflowing, yeah. They weren't even. And then we got rid of some more too. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen boxes. And there's, one more in the garage. there's one more in the garage. Of like piano music, right? So these are all books, completely filled up. So uh, postal service has like media mail where you can send stuff like this for like a slightly cheaper rate. It takes a little while, it takes like over a week probably to get to us, but it's totally worth it. It's like each one of these boxes will probably be like 20 to $30 to send. And I'm just, we're just gonna bite the bullet and do it and get them all to us. We've already sent, we've already had one box of Giselle's books sent to us, but it got lost in the mail and it's just- We had two boxes sent to us and one made it and one got Oh yeah, that's true. Yes, one got lost in the mail. I forgot we got the other. I forgot we got the other box. But all of these boxes, we have completely. I'm about to write our like address and name all over them, so like they have no excuse to get lost. And yeah, we're gonna tape them up in the morning, just like really securely tape them up in the morning before you have to go. 
and hopefully they all get to us because there's all every single box has stuff that we care about in them so we want to make sure they all get to us and they will right just yeah. <laughs> really 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 tired we've been working really we've been working on this pretty much all day so we're having scones and clotted cream for breakfast these are the scones from Winco. Dang, I just ate one, and they're really good. They are really good. I like them a lot. I just dip them in the cream, and it's heaven. Mom says it's fake clotted cream. I think it's just sour cream yeah. and whipped, whipped cream. Not whipped cream, sorry. Yeah. Well, it is yeah. whipped cream, but it, she used normal, like, whipping cream and whipped it. And then do you add some powdered sugar in? Yeah. Pretty easy, but pretty delicious. Giselle has crashed on the couch I'm, already. I'm really exhausted. We didn't really get a talk at the airport. It was... We haven't, we haven't, I'm sorry we haven't vlogged at all today, really. We, it's been kind of a hectic day, both with, like, this morning, we were really trying to finish getting packed. I was, like, taping up all those boxes I was showing you before. Yeah. Uh, we, and then it was a huge rush to the airport, and, like, just getting on our flight, we barely made it, so... Yeah, we were literally the last people on. They were calling final boarding. Yeah, they were calling like, final boarding while we were like buying waters for ourselves, and we like ran over with these ridiculously heavy carry-on bags, and we had our our three gigantic uh, check-in bags to do. I can't believe we got these three giant heavy check-in bags, two giant heavy carry-ons, and two very heavy backpacks, all home. It was very exhausting. When we got to the airport, Christopher just dropped me off at, because he had to go give the car back, so he just dropped me off with all three of the suitcases and and my own, like, personal item and my carry-on. And I got them all over to the baggage checking place and checked them yeah, while by I was, myself. While I was dropping off the car, she did it all by herself and I don't know how she did it. And it's like at the airport, I'm very like paranoid of like leaving my stuff alone because they're like very like, don't like let your baggage alone or security will take it and things like that. So like, <laughs> it was a struggle getting it over there and I'm so tired and out of breath. Like as soon as we got in the line for security, I just like chugged a whole water bottle and nearly passed out and as soon as we got on the plane I ordered a ginger ale and it really helped like settle my stomach but and then we just like had to get these all back but it's so much easier having another person here to help with three suitcases by yourself yeah <laughs> so we were kind of standing outside the airport when we got there like looking for a, a lift driver who had a big enough car for us and we got kept getting a bunch of like regular just regular four-door sedan cars and we kept canceling them because we we're like we know we need a bigger by car cat, cat, and we mean we only canceled twice we get yeah, we canceled twice but then uh we finally got a nice big car to come get us and it didn't cost anything extra for the big car which I knew if we just did it enough times we'd be able to get one well, so even on our just like our first try I not even our first try we're not even trying but you normally all call a lift and it's usually an SUV or something around that size and then for so they kept giving us all these small cars there and I was like oh our three giant suitcases or two really heavy bags and our two personal items are not gonna fit in a tiny little car <laughs> so we got them all here we just got home it's 1 30 a.m. I'm gonna lay in bed very soon and go to sleep hopefully I just we I just like started opening the suitcase just like to see if there's any damage or anything just to make sure everything is all in order and just I all my clothes are in there and the clothes that I want to wear tomorrow in there so I'm just gonna find those and and pretty much head off to bed so I think that's pretty much it for this vlog and for this 
trip to California and back. Hope it was fun for you. Hopefully, I'm really excited to edit these actually and like relive the days and stuff. So I think it might actually, I don't know, inspire me to start editing vlogs again, hopefully. And then I'll go back and put together. I'm going to try to, I'm probably going to start editing these ones and then maybe go back, get these done and then go back and edit the ones that I want to edit from before. So I'll like, hopefully this will get me in the mood and then I'll do those ones and then everything will go up. And you'll be, and if, if, they, if that all happens, you'll have seen them all by now, so, hi, we're here now. And it's, it's May 13th, my birthday is in a couple days. That's it. <laughs> Any last words for the vlog? It was such a short trip. I, I don't know, it really flew by. We were there pretty much all day Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and half of Sunday. Like, we left my parents' house, like, around close to noon and it felt like it felt like we had just gotten there when we were leaving yeah we were there for five whole days technically like we landed at like 10 and left at like four so like we were there for over five days but it, it went by like, really quickly it, felt like it was so fast i really wish we could have spent more time there honestly but I'm really glad with what we get, did get done. I'm pretty sad that we didn't get to go to the Huntington, but it just didn't work out. And I am glad we didn't go for the for our mental health and our physical health. Our physical health, yeah. <laughs> Mostly. But it was so good, and it was so fun, and I'm glad we got to do all the things we got to do. And I feel so absolutely spoiled. Christopher said I'm not allowed to go near Ulta for the rest of the year. <laughs> we'll see how that works out, but I'm definitely going to try to budget very well because we definitely splurged a lot in here. But I'm just... I feel very grateful. Yeah, it was a good trip. And tired. <laughs> it was a good trip. It was a, an exhausting trip, but it was really fun. And somehow it, went by really quickly. It feels but. really, really good that I was able to clear out most of the stuff from my parents' house as well. Like, I got rid of a lot of things. We packed up all the book boxes, and my parents are going to send them when they get... They're going to London. They're leaving tomorrow. Um... <laughs> But when they get back, they're going to send them all, and we're going to have all those, and all I have left at my parents' house now will be a few miscellaneous things, and, but mostly they're, like, personal items, like, baby binders, like, full of, like, pictures, and school notebooks and journals that I don't want to get rid of, and things like that. And my wedding dress is still there. I don't even know what I'm going to do with my wedding dress. So, like, besides those few things, I think we condensed it down to eight boxes, and I believe we had over, like, 25 when we got there. So, condensing that down to eight boxes and getting rid of a ton, it just, like, it feels very lightening to know that I'm going to have all of my books and, like, everything so that we can just kind of, like, finally finish feeling like we're together if that makes sense and that like all our stuff is combined and all of it is just like finally about like all of her old life is back in california and stuck there yeah and now it's not it's just like those memory things which my parents are said are totally they're totally fine with keeping those for a bit because they're like keeping my other sibling stuff as well and these siblings who have lived out of the house a lot longer than i have and stuff as well so they said they're okay with that but like everything that was like holding us back from like, oh, well, I don't know if I should buy this book because I don't remember if I have it at home or, oh, I think this is better condition than the one that I have there and I think I'd rather have this one, but I don't know and like things like that. It's finally, it's just like all clear. It's a fresh plate. We're going to be able to scan all these books into our system, finish scanning the whole house, organize the whole house we're gonna do like major spring cleaning like all this stuff and it just feels nice that we're gonna have this fresh new start just from simply like clearing out all my junk in california it feels amazing and i'm really so very grateful that i finally got to do that because it's just been like hanging over my head for the past three years so yeah it feels really good and now i'm very tired and i'm I'm glad that we're going to be getting back to our normal lives, although I'm not excited about waking up and going to work in the morning because I think we're going to be really tired. Yeah. <laughs> Neither of us slept on the plane at all, so. 
bring it to go to work tomorrow. And that's great. But hey, right, well, I'm, real quick before we end, I we never showed this, but I got this Disneyland like magnet. I want to start filling our fridge up with magnets at some point. Of stuff, maybe not this fridge, but like we can start with this fridge, I guess. But I'm gonna put it on the fridge, and we'll officially say goodbye to Disneyland and this trip. Bye. <laughs> See you guys real soon, hopefully, with more. Thank you so much for watching.